Good Monday evening, day 81 since the first coronavirus case was discovered in Illinois. More than 513,000 people have filed for unemployment here in just the last month. That's more than all of last year. And while the governor is praising what he calls massive efforts to get relief money into the hands of those without a paycheck, many still haven't seen a dime. CBS2 is committed to working for Chicago, uncovering answers about the systems that are supposed to support the newly unemployed. Chris Dye is live at the Thompson Center with new information about the software that's causing problems with jobless claims and the help wanted ads the state hopes will solve the problem. Chris. Erica, the governor once again today issuing a laundry list of successes to help those half million unemployed in Illinois. The problem is when many of them reach out to us or other legislators, they're telling us that they're running out of patience and money because when they interact with that unemployment system put together by the state, it routinely misfires on them. It means everything. It means groceries and being able to kind of stay afloat. Lael Marmar is one of Illinois' half million unemployed and one of the many who've counted the wasted hours online on the phone trying to lock down Illinois' unemployment benefits. At least 20 hours, I'm sure. I believe that the state of Illinois has failed those Illinoisans who have been left out, that were cut out as not essential. In their loudest voice yet, House Republicans blasting the governor for an unemployment system not prepped for the pressure this crisis placed on it. It is time for this governor to step up and fix the problems with IDES and not just complain about things at the federal level. This is 100% under his control. Today, the state of Illinois hiring systems analysts to help improve the unemployment system that runs on a computer language known as COBOL, a 60-year-old system that many states rely on. When one legislator tried warning the governor's office of the looming problems... The direct quote was, get a life. Today, the governor is saying the demand is five times worse than in the Great Recession, and the problems are being addressed, and IDES staff doing so in quick fashion. These IDES employees did in a month what might normally take most of a year. This is still a work in progress. There's no doubt about it. It's much better than it was, much better than it was. As the system tries to keep up, Lael tries to stay liquid, forced to drain her retirement fund to do so. I'm cashing out my 401k at this point so I can pay my bills. It's just kind of scary. It just feels unsettling. The governor also with some good news for members of the so-called gig economy in Illinois, 1099 tax filers. There is no system for them to file for unemployment. It's never been on the books before. He says by one month from right now, not only will the system be up, Erica, but money will be in their accounts. Mm. Well, Chris, I understand that for these workers who can't get their calls or emails answered, there's no way for them to even lodge complaints if they want to. That's right. CBS2 asked IDES for a full list of complaints regarding all of this, and they said, we don't have it because there is no mechanism for those who are trying to file for unemployment to complain. Lael, who you met in our story, she has a problem where her social security number doesn't match up to her name inside the system, and so she has spent those 20 hours trying to fix that problem. The problem there is she never knows if the problem's fixed, never an email coming back saying, yay or nay. And when she tries to reach out to the state to notify them of all this, there is no portal to do so. And so she continues to waste hour after hour, day after day. And there are thousands of Lales out there. All right, Chris Ty live for us reporting tonight. Thank you.